Welcome back to another code recollection. Let me figure out where we left off. It's been some time because I got sick and didn't want to try doing a reading heavy game for a while, so postponed here. We did get an update about Michael last time. Michael was sort of friends with Charlotte. We talked about how he was kind of a troublemaker of a kid that she yelled at sometimes. But he also came to visit her occasionally as an adult. It seems like he wanted to make sure she was okay after her husband died. Maybe Matthew gets his kindness from his dad. It sounds like he was a great father. His son sure loves him. Oh, that, okay. Everything's coming back now. Matthew went off to go see Michael, who woke up from a coma and is not the same person as Greg. They're just friends. Uh, he's in with Ian somehow. We had a talk with Elizabeth. And I think we're going after my dad now. Richard. Actually, isn't there a notes section on the map? That's messages. Former site of Crusoe Resort is where we are right now. Dad's waiting. I should head to the lab for now. How did I get turned around? Thought I was facing the correct way. Um... This monument must mean it's the main entrance to the lab. This is JC Valley? Where'd he go? Oh well. Guess I'll head in. They're always watching. Huh. This black car's pretty cool. I wonder what sort of person drives it. I think it would suit Elizabeth's dad. I wonder whose car this is. Looks comfortable to drive. <laughs> I really like its simple design. Yeah, we still don't have the full I picture was here about with mom. mom. She brought me to JC Valley. She kept it a secret from dad. What were you doing all those years ago, mom? I've been waiting for you, Ashley. I was that close to the end of the chapter last time. I save here just because the stream didn't start out very well technically, so if something happens, go back. 
A Mystery of J.C. Valley. Oh, hey. We met at the campsite, didn't we? You remember me. Hello again. I'm Sophia Callahan. I'll take you to Dr. Robbins. He's down in the lab in sub-basement two. The lab's underground? Indeed it is. Go ahead onto the elevator. If the lab is underground, is it also underwater? Is that where our pollution is coming in? Hmm. Mm hmm. So, um... Yes. Did the trouble with the security system get sorted out? Yes. Dr. Robbins fixed it. He is quite brilliant. Quite. He always acts so weird around me. But people here have so much respect for him. Because they're fellow weirdos. Sorry, I should have said Ashley. out loud that I didn't I'd trust that face. I'd rather avoid face. being so brutish. But there's someone who'd like to meet you. Dr. Robbins, it's an emergency. Security on the underground storage has been deactivated. What? Sophia's idea is in the logs. So it was her all along? What could she be after? Gina, call Rex. I'll check with Ian to make sure everything is okay. So she avoided being discovered up until now when she decided to use the ID that the security system logs to deactivate. I'm sorry, why wouldn't she just keep up the mystery? Um, Why reveal herself? I don't get it. Um, was I asleep? She knocked me out. Oh. Oh. Why did she do that? And where am I? Is this the lab? It's some oh. kind of lab. been here mom looked worried she was talking with a man in a lab coat what do they do here dad huh what's that it's a screen. There's something on the monitor. You should go monitor it. Regarding the stored liquid memory? What the heck is liquid memory? Liquid memory is a liquefied form of storage that allows complex information to be backed up in a minuscule volume. Liquid memory excels at changing shape, has a high resistance to impact and vibration, and does not degrade over time. Therefore, the information can be stored indefinitely. However, information written to liquid memory is fixed, and is therefore difficult to transfer to another form of storage. Addendum. 
water from Lake Juliet is used for its peculiar composition, which is required for the creation of liquid memory. As such, the creation of a large volume of liquid memory is currently believed to be impossible, as it would result in the lake drying up completely. It's kind of dense, but if I'm reading uh, this correctly, I've seen more dense. I've seen more dense stuff in Nintendo Labo. From the I water showed that in Lake off. Juliet. So if I have this right, the pollution in Lake Juliet is actually liquid memory? Anyway, what you might have missed while I was fixing the stream and then getting it back online. Well, I'm going to read these character portraits anyway. Uh, but the big one is Sophia. A researcher at JC Valley, Sophia is one of Dad's co-workers. She's pretty shady, according to Elizabeth. She's engaged to Elizabeth's dad, but doesn't seem like she really loves him. Why would she agree to marry someone she doesn't love? I think I can understand how Elizabeth feels. Welcoming someone you don't trust into your family must be hard. She didn't seem like a bad person when I met her at the campsite, but that's changed now. Only a truly bad person can draw someone in with a smile, only to immediately attack them. She's the worst kind of person. But why would she attack me? What is she after? Yes, yeah, she pulled the old uh, chloroform on us and dropped us in this room. There's an update on Charlotte. The old lady whose family has lived in Lake Juliet for generations. She knows a lot about the area. We were able to solve the clock tower's puzzle and ring the bell. It was so loud, Charlotte must have heard it, but Matthew disappeared again, so I had to chase him. Charlotte was in her garden when I got to her house. I was right about her having heard the bell. She told me it was wonderful to hear it again. When I asked her about Matthew, she said that I couldn't get to Crusoe Resort offices by going through... That I could get to the Crusoe Resort offices by going through the big pipe under the bridge. I owe Charlotte for so much. I need to make sure I stop by her place later to thank her properly. Alright, so then with Matthew. One by one, Matthew remembered all sorts of things in the clock tower. About how he always used to play with Kelly, in the lake or in the tower. About how they would meet their dad at Crusoe Resort. And when he heard the bell, he remembered where Crusoe Resort was. We found Emily's letter there, and Matthew remembered everything from five years ago. It was sad and painful, but now Matthew should be able to move on. He got to say goodbye to Kelly, and we found out where his father is. I hope he gets to live happily ever after with his dad. I'm just glad I picked up his watch and returned it to him. Be careful not to lose it again, Matthew. We learned the sad truth about what happened to Kelly. She fell from the clock tower and died right in front of Matthew. He's sick with guilt. Kelly's ghost appeared to us. He told her that he had failed her as a brother, but she forgave him. Maybe she was relieved to see that he started to recover. I don't know. But she had a big smile on her face. Their mother showed up too, and she and Kelly left together. It's good that Matthew remembered what happened. I owe that Emily and Kelly... I hope that Emily and Kelly are watching over him. Clearly, I haven't read in a while. Matthew found a letter his mom wrote his dad in a locker in the deserted Crusoe Resort. It was the key to unlocking all of Matthew's memories. He wrote about what happened to Kelly and that she didn't have long left. He was overwhelmed by worry for Matthew, who had been through such trauma, and Michael, who completely focused on his work. Emily cared so much about her family. You don't need to worry about Matthew anymore, Emily. He'll be able to come to terms with what happened to Kelly, and he'll be reunited with his dad soon. I just know that they'll always take care of each other, just as you wrote back then. Please watch over them. I mean, we'll see how well the reading goes. I'm messing up words already. There was a poster in the ruined old office of Crusoe Resort. It showed what Lake Juliet would have looked like if the resort was complete. It was absolutely beautiful. I could see why Michael was working toward it. But everyone blamed him for the pollution, and that must have hurt a lot. But you don't need to worry anymore, Michael. With your documents and the info from Ian, Greg will show everyone that the pollution really was. You just get better and take care of Matthew. And maybe go visit Charlotte again when you're ready. There was an article about the water pollution in the closed-off offices of Crusoe Resort. The author's name was Greg Davis, and he turns out to be our John Smith in sunglasses. He used to live in Lake Juliet and was an old friend of Matthew's dad, Michael. Even though he actually knew Matthew, he hid his true identity out of concern for Matthew, who lost his memory after a tragic accident. It was a lie, but a lie out of kindness. Eric's article had the... a positive... 
I don't hear that word used very often. Eric's article had the positive of his attendant effect, driving Crusoe Resort to the brink of bankruptcy. Michael had been framed and was clearly suffering, so Greg was searching for the truth to clear his name. We found the proof we needed in Michael's locker, and Greg was thrilled, saying this would prove Michael's innocence. And that was when we found where Michael was, and now Matthew can finally see his dad. I love a happy ending. Let's go over to the Elizabeth side. Elizabeth, the keyboardist and vocalist for Tommy's band, also the daughter of Rex, director of JC Valley. When I chased Matthew to the clock tower, I ran into Elizabeth by the lakeshore. We talked a little. She dished about her dad's new fiance and told me why she hid the music player. She totally knew I swiped it. Sorry that I touched her stuff. You told me not to, and yet, here we are. As best as I can understand, Elizabeth keeps comparing herself to her mom, and she looks up to her mom way too much to feel like she can sing half as well, but her voice is her own. When I heard her sing, I was blown away by its beauty and power. She just needs to find some confidence and keep on singing. Of course, I don't think she wants to hear that from me. If I told her that directly, I can only imagine what would happen. I'm glad we were finally able to really talk. I had almost given up hope. I feel like we understand each other a bit now. We might even get along. Princess is a large dog with fluffy white fur. She's a dear friend I made at the lake. When Matthew ran out of the clock tower, I went after him and wound up bumping into Princess and Elizabeth. I guess she had come here to see Elizabeth after all. I'm glad you two were able to reunite, Princess. I really owe this pooch my thanks. If it wasn't for her, I don't think my relationship with Elizabeth would have improved as much as it has. We started out pretty hostile, but now we can talk openly. It's thanks to Princess I was able to make another good friend. Rex, director of JC Valley and Elizabeth's father. Elizabeth and I had a long talk by the lakeshore. It's not just that she's spoiled. She can't stand the fact that her father wants to marry Sophia. It must be tough for her. She's clearly hurting from her mom just walking out on the family, and here comes somebody else into the picture. The real problem, though, is that Elizabeth thinks Sophia doesn't even love her father. So, should they even get married? I don't get what's going on here, but if that's true, then of course Elizabeth doesn't want them to get married. Sure, she's giving her father a hard time, but she's worried about it. It makes sense. Open your eyes, Rex. The solution to her general bad behavior is to just buy her things. That's not what she needs from you, Rex. Listen to her. I hope you figure that out soon. Hey, on to Ashley's dad. Dad didn't come home after going to the lab to help with the system problem, so I guess he's still here. I don't know what kind of research he's doing, but he must have a lot of responsibilities. Oh, and Ryan said there was something Dad wants me to talk to about. What could that be? But I've got stuff to ask him about as well, so that works out. I kind of want to go find Dad, but I'm worried that Sophia might be here and try to lock me up again. <laughs> when I approached the entrance to JC Valley, I flashed back to Mom pulling my hand as we went into the lab. And the room that Sophia locked me in also looked familiar. I'd been there before. And at the time, Mom was talking to someone. A man wearing a lab coat. I thought Mom retired from science when I was born. Why would she have come all this way to visit? Could it have been to see this guy? Whatever it was, she kept it secret from Dad. We got into the clock tower and used the three keys to get the clock moving again. I left Matthew to go listen to the bell on the top floor, but he disappeared while I was up there. He remembered something when he heard the bell. I chased after him and we ended up at the ruins of Crusoe Resort, where something weird happened. Matthew read a letter from his mom and suddenly remembered everything. Just when it seemed like he was going to break down from remembering Kelly's death, he appeared in front of him. He fell from the tower five years ago, but I guess she never left his side. I'm glad you got to learn the truth, and also say a proper goodbye, Matthew. I think you'll be alright now. My turn. I'm pretty sure the reason Mom came to Lake Juliet was to visit JC Valley. What I don't know is why. Michael's report said JC Valley is the one responsible for the pollution. There's something going on here, and I don't think even Dad knows what it is. Alright, that should be everyone for now. I cannot pull up my map at the moment. I was curious if it would say anything interesting. 
Incongruent data detected. Error in chronological arrays. Deviations found in the following location paths. Um... I guess this means something unusual is happening. I don't understand what any of this actually means. Remaining liquid memory, 18.4%. The percent remaining is dropping steadily. The situation requires immediate attention. Ah. But why? Information on liquid memory is displayed on the console. Uh, this is the information I read before. Alright, in that case, I guess I'm gonna try and get out of here. The door is locked. It's not opening. Hang on. Am I... Am I locked in here? Well, certainly we have a solution for that. Yep, the I'm mass the is responding. Which means... I knew it. The DAS is responding too. It's the same as the security device at Lake Juliet. I'll try using the DAS. This security has a time limit to release it, so you'll need to keep an eye on the hourglass gauge. If you run out of time, you'll get to retry, but if you fail five times in a row, the time limit will be removed until you clear it once. <laughs> Whoops. One, two, three spins of the left stick. Hold two buttons at the same time. Hey, I spun it the right way. Don't you lie to me. Hey! <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm spinning it the right way. Uh, oh, it just told me to... Oh. It said X and A, I held X and B, and it thought I was pressing B to quit. <laughs> I suppose B is never really an input it, there. It opened! <laughs> Am I gonna have to sneak past, like, guards or something? Well, I don't see anyone. Guess I'm clear. Look, it's endless ocean. Except it's a lake. It's endless lake. so different here. Huh. My mom's pendant. There's water glowing inside it. Mom. Uh-huh. Help keep water. me safe. All right? Lead me to dad. Totally not liquid memory in there. I almost wonder if that's the liquid memory leaking out, thus polluting the leak. I'm three floors below ground yeah. level. Sophia said Dad's lab was on the second floor of the basement. Oh, interesting that he... Interesting if she gave me his actual office location since, Looks you know, clear. he was trying to have her way. Dad? Down the lake. Where are you, Dad? There's a building directory. There's a pamphlet that includes the info from the building directory. 
Guys, and now I have a map. And I theorize that a lot of the paper cranes are gonna be here. Yep. As far as I can just check here. So 4, 202, 201, 104, 103. Oh no, none here. What is in here? A computer. The computer is unlocked. The username is JC Valley 0013. I always imagine a lab is having big, thick books and documents laying all around, but this room's practically empty. This light doesn't turn on. Doesn't seem like anyone uses this. The JC Valley logo and the numbers for each room are on the panel. Wow. This is a nice audio setup. Looks pretty high quality. <laughs> Whoever uses this room must be pretty into music. coming so let's go into the boss's office The other girl. Oh, aren't you? <coughs> Gina, what's going on? What are you planning on doing with me? You're right, you're right. I was too rough, sorry. You're working with Sophia, aren't you? I understand why you're suspicious. But I'm going to need you to trust me, okay? What are you doing here? My dad asked me to come. Dr. Robbins called for you? First time hearing of this. Ryan came and told me. Ryan? Ryan who? What do you mean, Ryan who? The Ryan that works here? That's really strange. I need to look into this. Either way, this person told you to come here? It's dangerous. You need to stay put. What's my dad doing? He's working with Ian, our system admin. They're trying to keep Sophia out of our data. Tell me what's going on. Some bad stuff is going down right now. Sophia is trying to steal data from the lab. I bet that's what? gonna blow the marriage. Come here. What is this? It's a direct call system that connects all the rooms in the lab. If it's still working, then... Uh, uh. Ian, are you alright? Wait here. I'm going to Ian's office. Well, I mean, if she's in Stay with Ian, where then, it's safer. Uh, 
probably trust her. Because, you know, Ian's with Greg. Things have really gone sideways here. Huh? That's Elizabeth's. Brain there. It has been forever since I found one of these. I have no idea if I'll be able to go back for any of the other ones that I don't have. Yeah, this is number five. There was one in Bob's food hut, and there was one in the Elizabeth mansion, but, like, I didn't see it. I, I swear I looked in those places. As I was sorting through a box of lab documents Rex gave me, I happened across a book containing the history of JC Valley, everything from its inception to now. As I skimmed through, I was surprised to see the policies that Rex put in place to keep the lab afloat following Judd's death. He had just taken over as director, but he really leaned into the business side of things. He trademarked an original security system that uses biometric technology born from the research and development of another and sold it to outside firms. What's more, by having the lab assume the production of industrial goods for things like semiconductors used in that security system, he was able to restore JC Valley's financials. He single-handedly saved the lab from having to liquidate its assets, which were at risk of being sold to the highest bidder and ultimately lost, including all that remains of the another project. Much of the project's research has been lost, but what remains lives on in the other fields of study within the lab. If the lab went bankrupt and was forced to sell off its assets, it would represent a huge risk. What if someone reverse-engineered another? Who knows what it would be used for? It can do anything from petty crime to starting wars, but Rex's business acumen prevented all that. As a complete business novice myself, I'm genuinely impressed by Rex's prowess in the field. I doubt there's anyone at JC Valley who even comes to his equal. Speaking with him, I started to wonder if I could market some of the technology in the DAS as an end-user product. Perhaps we could take a few key features, like the ability to take photos or the capture to detailed information about objects, and add them to a cell phone. That's not a bad idea. I should get Rex's opinions. JC Valley founder Judd Fitzgerald, 1980 to 2002. So this is the guy who started this place. Wait a minute. 1980 to 2000. Does that just represent his employment at the company? Because I th that picture doesn't make him look 22 years old. And so to have died at 22 looking like that would be. <laughs> Please tell me that's his employment and not his lifespan. The another is still in active development. Using it now is dangerous. The experiment is what will allow us to complete its development. Judd, the founder of JC Valley. That's who Mom was talking to. Now we've got an update in the system for his picture. When I saw Judd's portrait, I realized he was the person I remembered arguing with Mom 13 years ago. Why was Judd so desperate to finish the another that he'd ignore Mom's warnings? Did he have some special reason to push so hard? Okay, it was actually a small paragraph and not just his picture. <laughs> Go figure. What a big table. All these chairs must mean it's used for meetings. Hmm? I bet they talk about all sorts of complicated science stuff while watching the monitor. Tea set? I guess they have a tea time during the day. I could go for some tea, but now probably isn't the best time. Huh. I had no idea they received an award for Lake Juliet's security system. Hmm. Hold on. If the security around Lake Juliet is so good, how come my stolen bag is still missing? Uh, wait, didn't we fix that? With oh, no, right. He hit it and then someone else took it. There's a red book with an elegant design. 
History of J.C. Valley. about this lab. The J.C. Valley Research Facility was founded by Judd Fitzgerald, a leading figure in the field of memory research, along with a collection of researchers from across the country. Fitzgerald, along with one of his fellow researchers, Sayoko Kitazato, created an innovative theory within the realm of memory control. Putting the theory into practice, Fitzgerald then developed the Another Device. Although this device was never completed, it laid the foundation for the Another Theory, which was subsequently subsequently refined by Sayoko. I know the word Mom subsequently. Mom was researching I swear. another here, along with Judd. These awards are all different shapes. Amazing. Some amazing things must have come out of this lab. There's a portrait of Rex on the wall. J.C. Valley Director Rex Alfred. Fancy picture. This must be Elizabeth's dad's office. Hmm. I wonder if I can use this computer to learn more about the lab. Oh, no good, huh? Ah, I should have figured it'd be locked. Some papers sit on the desk. The cover page reads, on the development of a new form of liquid memory. What's this? Liquid memory, developed under Judd Fitzgerald's dictator that- <laughs> I'm gonna clip that one later. <laughs> liquid memory, developed under Judd Fitzgerald's directorship, was a huge step forward in the development of the Another Project. However, the liquid's potential to do significant damage to the environment must be improved upon. This was made abundantly clear six years ago, after the liquid memory spilled into Lake Juliet. Because of these revelations, a new team was formed with Dr. Richard Robbins at the helm, and the development began on a new version of liquid memory. The goal of the new project was to make liquid memory a safer and more efficient medium for the storage of memory, thereby improving research in the field. Rex Alfred This tank accident. It must be the source of the pollution Greg's been looking for. <gasps> oh. Gina! Her luck phone. Rex, is that you? Ryan! Ashley? What are you doing there? Sophia was showing me around, but she attacked me. She attacked Ian, too. But Gina found me. Ryan... What the heck is going on around here? That's terrible, Ashley. I'm sorry. Do you know what's going on? Yes, I do. I believe Sophia intends to acquire the Another source code. The Another? Dad isn't trying to rebuild it, is he? But Sophia's the one trying to acquire the source. Sophia may be working with someone else. Please be careful. I'll look into what she's been doing. You and I should meet up later. Come to think of it. It has taken too long. I hope nothing happened. Gina! Ashley? I told you to stay put. The gate won't open? Nope. Scanning this should open it, but it just isn't working. This must be Sophia's doing. Let me try. Huh? Time to do our thing. Release the lock. Oh, come on! <laughs> Release the locks by tilting the system or controller. If tilted correctly, the icon's gauge will fill and you'll move on to the next input. <laughs> How was that not? Oh my god. How was that? Uh. There's no motion on that one. What do you want me to do? Oh 
Oh my god. They need to give you more leeway on the motion ones. Come on. Recognize that one. All right, got it. What is that? What did you just use? This is the RAS. It can open all sorts of gates, doors, whatever. Now there's no trick up my sleeve. Because it was never up my sleeve to begin with. It was on my wrist, which is just below the place that would be under my sleeve. Okay, but what is it? It's this thing my mom invented. Your mom made a piece of tech like that, and you have it? Well, in any case, good job. Where is he? Lab 103. I don't want to stand around waiting. I want to come with you. Ashley. There might be more doors. I have the RAS. It's bound to come in handy again. Right. Okay, let's go. No, uh. I gotta keep moving. No, uh. This one's closed too. Can you open it? Leave it to me. The RAS isn't responding. Hmm. The light on this device is off. Maybe that's why the RAS isn't responding. door has secured access. Oh! This cover is about to fall off. Huh. And these are the insides, huh? Gina. Look, think this is broken? Oh. The socket is missing its IC chip. It won't work in this state. Who would go to this much trouble? Um... But if I replace the chip, it should work, right? Mm. Yes. It's possible Dr. Robbins has a suitable replacement chip. All right. We should check his lab to see if we can find one. Room 202. Um... Okay, but what if I went to room 203? Um... Fine. All right. So this is my dad's lab. That's right. I could have guessed from the mess. Your dad's very passionate about his work. Often to the point he'd spend the night here. What? I see no rhyme or reason to how these books were placed. Why do they, what do they do when they want a specific book? Look through every single one. Lots of junk, but no IC chip, huh? huh? These boxes are heavy. They're full of parts I've never seen before. And there's a paper crane on top of one of them. September, it will have been one and a half years since I left Blood Edward Island. I got a call from Rex, a former co-worker at MJ Labs. He's the director of JC Valley now, and it sounds like there are those in his lab who would want to revive the Another Project. Back on the island, I interrupted Bill's transmission and was certain I had destroyed the Another along with its source code, but it would seem at least a portion of the code Bill transferred made it into someone's hands, and subsequently into JC Valley's data management system. Rex is looking into how the data got in. He'll try to identify anyone involved with it, too. So far, he's figured out that some of its data is in the security system, which he can't access himself. He has no idea what the code is doing there. He asked me to help investigate. I immediately agreed. We cannot allow the Another Project to be revived, no matter the cost. I joined JC Valley so I could ensure nobody is hurt by Another like Ashley and I were. Hmm? Dunked everywhere and the garbage can is empty. Okay. 
Now I see Chip here either. Dad. Dad has some pictures of us. Hmm. Where the heck did this photo come from? A well-used coffee maker sits on the counter. The faint scent of coffee lingers in the room. <laughs> Hmm? Must be for coffee. Ah. That's coat pocket, maybe? Could it be there? Nothing here. Gina. Can't find it. I have no idea where the IC chip should be. No use. It may not be here. If it's not here, we could check Sophia's lab. It's risky, though. Hey. Where's Sophia's lab? Ooh. Lab 203. The one I wanted to go to first. Got a pair of slippers under his desk. Some next level stay in at work. No use. This is Sophia's lab, but the door is locked. Wait, wait! This thing is power. We might be able to open it. Depending if the motion controls work. <laughs> Why was that so much easier? They were all single button inputs. There was no holding. There was no multi button. Yes. There was no motion. After all those mechanics got introduced, they just went back to the yeah. most basic. All right. I mean, not that I'm complaining after how the motion controls went. That's a relief. No one's around. So this is Sophia's mm -hmm. lab. I think we'll actually find the IC chip for the other door All in right. here. Just have to look. Let's split up. I'll take the desk area. Um, let's see. I don't see a paper crane, but I'm gonna double check. I don't remember exactly which rooms they were in, were none in. Two a one, and then two on the first floor. Okay, so not in here. Lamp, call system, lab coat. Did the chip be in one of the pockets? Mm -hmm. Guess not. My bag! What? This is my bag. It was stolen at the bus stop. What's it and doing here? And then it here? was stolen at the boathouse. <laughs> Sophia must have left it here. She was the one who asked Matthew to steal it. Why would Sophia want your bag? Oh, she dumped all my stuff in the garbage. I need to make sure it's all here. Teddy bear, too? He's still in good shape, not even dirty. Ugh. Who would throw this out? Not cool, Sophia. Yeah. There's my sheet music. I'm glad it's in one piece. Oh! Here's my wallet. All the cash is still inside and everything. Alright. There's my cell phone. We can contact the outside mm. with it. Ah, the battery's dead. Darn it. Too bad I don't have the charger. <gasps> oh. Our album. <sighs> Ooh, it's not even scratched. Huh. Yeah, there's something at the bottom of the garbage can. Wait, wait! Gina, any idea what this is? Oh. That's the IC chip. I see. I was waiting to make that pun for when we found it. Yes! Uh, it's really gonna fill up my inventory. I wonder if we'll actually use these items. Demo CD, the cell phone, the wallet, the sheet music, the teddy bear.
you're going to search the computer? Yeah, might be able to dig up some dirt on Sophia. Do you know her password? Probably. Got it. Whoa, already? You're amazing. I do my best. One point for the good guys, right? Right. Oh. Oh, this is... You found something? She was emailing someone. I can't see who, but there are two emails here. Sophia may have had help. What did they say? Dr. Robbins invited his daughter out, so I had a boy steal her bag for me. Unfortunately, she wasn't carrying any information on the another with her. I'm not giving up, though. Based on what I've been told by my local informant, it's probably possible Ashley knows something about the another device. I'm gonna make direct contact with her to confirm. What is this? It's information about the another. She's getting help from somewhere. Sophia was after me right from the start. She had Matthew steal my bag in exchange for info on his dad. And that about recaps what you missed. Ugh, Sophia, you... I'm not letting her get away with this. Gina? I've had enough of her doing whatever she pleases. Let's stop her. First, we need to find whoever's helping her. Let's see what's in the other email. Oh, I suppose the other thing you missed, though, is that the RAS locks now have motion controls sometimes. And they're not great at all. <laughs> Compared to the first iteration of the Another device developed at JC Valley, the one developed on Blood Edward Island boasted superior functionality based on data from early testing. But unfortunately, the updated model was destroyed. However, some data was extracted before its destruction, and that data was loaded onto the prototype another. Data transfer in trim. The data transfer introduced a new problem. The data was configured with a unique initialization code, so an external system was required to access it. It seems Dr. Robbins added an extra encryption layer during the creation of the new device. The agent assigned to Blood Edward Island reported the existence of a standalone remote access point for the destroyed another. We have been so far unable to confirm those reports. Dr. Robbins is staying quiet, but it is highly likely his daughter Ashley is in possession of the remote device. Ashley's personal belongings will be the next target of our ongoing inquiry. There's an another in this lab? This mentions an agent. I wonder if that was Bill. Can't think of anyone else on the island who fits that description. And I wonder if Dad knows Sophia was looking into another. Dad's not on the another project anymore. Is he? Blood Edward Island. Dr. Robbins mentioned that place. Maybe this agent is the person helping Sophia. No. It can't be. He died on the island. You were there with your dad. Well, if he's gone, who's Sophia working with now? I mean, I'll give you my theory. Just to put it out there. Gina is helping us. Ian is working with Greg, who is against JC Valley. Ryan, I have reason to believe, is dead. And Judd, we saw have an argument with our mom in a flashback. So, I would say Judd is the prime candidate. <laughs> Either that or Janet. <laughs> Just because way earlier I said that Janet is way too nice. She's got to be the twist villain at the end. Even though she's not affiliated with the lab in any way, and is just a drummer in a band. Put in the chip. Yes! Let's see what fresh hell this lock is going to give me. The rest lit up. So the das... All right, it's responding. Let's use the DAS to lift the security.
Yeah, that's the motion controls for you. Why did it fill up halfway and then stop? I didn't move it after I moved it. Oh, you have to hold the button on it. That's not why I was messing up before, though. The other ones that I was getting quote-unquote wrong didn't have buttons on them, like this one. Well, now it's working. Wrong direction on the stick. Ah. What? <laughs> I was holding that. Oh, my God. Finicky as hell. I've only heard stories about your mother, but what I heard is that she was the real deal. A true genius. If she was a real genius, she wouldn't have added the motion controls. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about her? I know she was a founding member of JC Valley. She was a legend, hand-picked by Judd himself, but I never had the pleasure of meeting her. Oh. All right. Gina wants me to go over there, but I'm pretty sure there's a paper crane in this room. Because, you know, now all of a sudden that we're in this lab where you have to get them all, which I guess narratively makes sense because they're supposed to be left by our dad. And our dad has been spending all his time in the lab for this game. But, you know... Pacing-wise, it's just very weird to have so few in the beginning, and then suddenly, boom, remember the paper cranes? They're all over the place. Or am I remembering wrong here? I thought 201 had one. There it is. The guy in room 201 is supposed to be some sort of master fisherman. It's said that his technique borders on the supernatural. Several of my fellow researchers want to learn from him, and Rex is already taking lessons. He even has someone he refers to as his arch rival. This rival's name is Michael Crusoe, former president of Crusoe Resort, the company that tried to develop a resort at this lake five years ago. I had never heard of this legendary fisherman Crusoe before, but it sounds like he holds multiple records for largest fish caught in various tournaments all throughout the country. Michael Crusoe was born in Lake Juliet. People around here blame his company for the pollution, but the guy in two room 201 doesn't believe it. He says it's all made up. As to why he believes this, he says that Crusoe is the ultimate fisherman, and there's simply no way someone like that would do anything to harm the environment. He's waiting for Crusoe to make his triumphant return to the lake. Today, as he meticulously polished his gear, he looked up at me and said, I hope to face Michael in a fishing tourney. One of these days. What? Why is there a fishing rod here? <laughs> you have to leave read the paper crane for that, Ashley. Ah. Lake Juliet is featured in a special edition. I had no idea the lake was famous enough to be featured in a fishing magazine. Hmm? If it's a CD containing the results of the water quality report, let's see what it found. Lake water, tea, cool pop. Was he actually investigating soft drinks too? Spec on Optical Water Quality Observation Devices by Dr. Richard Robbins. Hmm. 
Are these instructions for the water quality testing feature on the desk? You know, that thing that we used once because it was convenient for the plot. Huh? This is the main unit of the computer, right? Looks like it's being disassembled. Is it being repaired or is it part of some experiment? <sighs> I love having flowers around. Just seeing them improves my mood. Must be tough for flowers to be stuck in a windowless room. Huh. These papers are kept so neat. Whoever sits here must have a real keen eye for detail. I love a good organizational tool, but even I'm not this neat. The opposite is true of the human playing the game. I'm quite neat. Especially at my job. Alright. Ian's room is on basement one. Let's hurry. Oh, she's got a gun. Ashley, get in the elevator. Okay. You're not getting away. Uh, wow, she's actually shooting at us. Gina! I'm fine. Close the door. Now, Bill never got that far. <laughs> Wait, no. Yes, he did. But well, he was gonna. <laughs> he was halfway through doing it. Eh, I don't know. Sophia, three bullets came out of Sophia's gun. And I don't think a single one actually came out of Bill's gun, even though he intended for one Gina, to. Gina, are you okay? Yeah, just a graze. I got lucky. That is lucky. She's coming after us. How did you have something to tie that up with in the elevator? <laughs> she has a gun. What do we do? Break the elevator. I press the emergency stop button. That'll stop the elevator. For now. Ah, okay. I guess we don't have to break it. This is the only elevator up. Let's see how she likes being stuck down there. Good thinking. Let's go. Ian's lab is 103. Are there not any stairs, though? Is okay, she gonna come up go. those? Also, it seems like if you didn't go in that optional room with the fisherman, that you would have totally missed that paper crate. <laughs> well, that may be in a lake, but this room sure is warm. I bet the workers gather here to talk about science and stuff. Pretty nice that coffee's provided. Sugar and cream, however, is not. I guess researchers like their coffee black. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Of course, everyone here spends their map rape breaks reading scientific magazine. The sofa's design is pretty mm. cool. I feel bad for whoever gets stuck with the single seater by the wall. You can't see the TV from it. Ah. A lot of candy. That just like up for grabs? I remember Dad telling me that thought intensive work always activates his sweet tooth. What? Well, what's with all the cool pop? What's it was this dad's doing? They have every flavor. Not even vending machines have selections this wide. Apparently every flavor means four. Just based on the colors. Not even vending machines carry four flavors. Also, the label changed to every flavor of Cool Pop. KC Valley's eco-friendly efforts. Um... We conduct our research day and night in pursuit of solutions to environmental issues. Lake pollution definitely counts as an environmental issue. Sorry, that part wasn't on the poster. Ashley said that last part. <laughs> and there's the paper crane.
I developed a new feature for the DAS based on research Sayoko left behind. It analyzes water quality via photo analysis. It seems Sayoko was researching how to read information from certain wavelengths of light. To this day, I have no idea what information she was trying to read or from what storage medium, but her research did spark some new ideas. I began wondering if I could run a photo analysis of light reflected off a liquid in order to analyze the individual substances it contained. Using the scan feature of the DAS, I developed technology that can analyze which substances have been dissolved in water. It's as simple as taking a picture with the DAS camera. The scan feature of the DAS was originally designed to read information recorded in specific media, but this new feature may be the key to identifying the true source of the pollution that affected the lake five years ago. I can't help but wonder why Sayoko was trying to read information from wavelengths of light in the first place. I get the feeling this is a mystery that will go unsolved for some time yet. The one paper crane left in the in the game, aside from the two that I possibly missed completely outside the lab. I wonder if we'll ever have a chance to go back for those. Ian? I think the other one's in here. And also, so is the story. Ian! Wake up! Are you okay? Gina! I was on a call when my door opened. It was Sophia. She knocked me out. Some chemical. And then we found you. Wow. Gina... You and Dr. Robbins were right about the leak. I still can't believe it was Sophia. And to think she'd attack Ashley. Did Dr. Robbins come through here? Mm, no, I haven't seen him. That's funny. He told us he was coming to see you. Maybe he stopped by security to check things out. I hope he didn't run into Sophia. Sophia's armed. She shot at us. Are you okay? I'm fine, don't worry. I'm more worried about Dr. Robbins. I'm going to look for my dad. What? I'm worried about him. I'll head to the security office. I'll go with you. Gina, you rest up here, okay? Okay. Take care of Ashley, Ian. The security office is on this floor. All right, place your bets on uh, Ian getting shot. Wow. This looks like Pinky Rabbit, but made entirely of beads. Wow. This handmade. Um... This laboratory utilizes a highly advanced security system that relies on biometric data. However, this means the security is susceptible to hacking by individuals who possess uh, certain biometric information. Mm. I have no idea what this means. Oh man. There are so many crumbs on this keyboard. You gotta be careful eating at the computer. What? There are half-eaten donuts and a container from a salmon rice burger in here. The garbage can is overflowing with food containers and wrappers. There's the paper crane. Among my fellow researchers, Ian and Gina are particularly dependable. Ian possesses one of the sharpest minds in the lab. However, he seems to consider sugary snacks brain food. Now, I like sweets as much as the next guy, and I agree that sugar is necessary for the sort of mental tasks we undertake. But I sincerely worry about the man's teeth. Gina is very earnest, and capable of intense focus when it comes to her research. However, she'll turn that same intensity towards the private lives of those around her. 
She has told me repeatedly that I should reach out to Ashley more regularly. You think? They both have their quirks, but they're outstanding researchers. They're quick to get me back on track when I hit a roadblock in my own work. I was all alone on Bloodwet Edward Island. The only person I'd ever see was Bill, and even then, I only saw him once every few months. For the first time since Sayoko died 13 years ago, I'm doing research with a support team. It's been a deeply moving experience. The day I spent researching the MJ labs with Sayoko and Bill were the start of my life as a researcher. I still think back to those days every so often. Yeah, no, Richard should have listened to Gina. <laughs> hmm. This must be Ian's. Curious about that drawer in the wall, but it doesn't seem interactive. Be careful. Um. Report. Safety enhancements accompanying the security gates Romo operation. Designing a function to link surveillance cameras and door lock controls for individual huh. rooms. I guess they're passionate about improving security tech. Good thing, given uh, all the research that's kept in here. Hmm? His music player has so much storage space, it can hold tons of songs. I'm jealous. I should ask for this big one sometime. Yeah? This book looks familiar. I think I saw it in Dad's room. Maybe everyone's reading the same technical book. Are they in a study group together? Uh, yeah, it's called their job. They study stuff at the lab, research it. Actually gonna do a I'm paranoid about the stream holding up <laughs> save <laughs> before I continue. Can we talk? Shall we? Ashley. Hey, over here. It won't open. The security system must be acting up. The gate in sub-basement 2 was the same. It's Sophia's fault. Give me just a sec, okay? Time to crack this puppy open. Can you fix it? Hmm. That's right. Ian was Greg's informant. You're just now remembering this? Hey, Ian. What is it? Do you know what caused the water pollution? Why would you ask me that? I know what caused it. You've been talking to someone named Greg Davis, right? What? Come on, Ian. Why did you talk to him? The pollution is JC Valley's fault, isn't it? Oh look, he actually fixed the door himself. You really are your father's daughter. Can't resist a mystery. Greg was just as much my informant as I was his. What? What does that mean? We're helping each other. We each have our own reasons. I mean, that's good that it's mutually beneficial. I'm a special agent for... Let's call it an investigation service. What's someone like you doing infiltrating JC Valley? I was investigating the research being conducted here. There's something worth investigating here? The federal government certainly thinks there is. JC Valley's work with human memory is garnering attention. And the big question is if that research can be weaponized. We still don't have any definitive evidence. The another. Mm, that does it. The gate's open. Let's hurry to the security office. It'll let me in here, which is interesting, because I'm I have all the paper cranes in the lab, right? There shouldn't be any little offshoot side rooms that I need to worry about anymore, because these two are back outside the lab. Yeah, the rest of the list is done. Hmm? Looks like the remote control for the big monitor. I wonder what it'll show if I turn it on. But I won't. 
Mm. I just won't turn it on. Uh, we've seen a water cooler, a coffee maker. Yeah, nothing new in here. Guess this room is just to help fill out the lab. Hey, we're above the surface now. I see it. It's over that way. Ah. It's Elizabeth's dad. I guess he's the lab's top guy. Trying to read Judd's. There's a photo of Judd. He must have been a brilliant scientist. Hmm? This is the lab's reception desk. Getting here was a bit of a detour thanks to Sophia. This is it. Someone triggered a system error. This system is supposed to be secure. Who could do this? Ian, where's my dad? I'll get the system back up and running. Use the security cameras to look for him. Ah, <sighs> looks like we avoided a worst case scenario. The good thing Ian is competent with these machines. That's him. Dad. Another error? There must be a hacker. But who? And from where? Whoever it is, they'll gain total control if I leave this station. Then you stay here. I'll go find my dad. No way, Ashley. It's too dangerous out there. But if we can stop Sophia in her tracks... Okay, lend me a hand. I have a plan to stop her. Then you can go rescue your dad. Take a look at the monitor on the right. <laughs> Ian restored part of the security mm. system, but it looks like it'll take a little longer before it's back up and running fully. Hey. What do I do, Ian? Can we talk? Security feed is displayed on the monitor, right? First, confirm Sophia's location, then lock the door to that room. Um... Oh, we're playing Among Us, and I'm the imposter, and I'm doing sabotage. <laughs> How do I lock the door? Is there a button? Tap the room on the monitor. Got it. Um, you can view the security feeds and all control control all door locks from here, but the system is yet to fully recover. Wow. The picture's all weird. Mm. That's a result of the hacking. Ashley. I'll do what I can to block the hack. While I do that, you find and lock Sophia's yeah. door. The red sections are the security camera footage for each room. The blue section is the map screen. Selecting security footage with A will magnify the display. Press the left stick to select the room Sophia is in and A to lock her in. Yeah, 
Now I see Sophia on this monitor. Uh, so I have to go based on... the room numbers are turned off due to the hack attempt. You'll have to look at the map and room layouts closely. Got it. Yeah, well, I know it's not some of these. So she's got a coat rack and then one of these tables against a wall. one ha huh. I locked Sophia in that room but then she waited all that time for me to deduce which one it was great job Ashley that's one problem solved can you find my dad now sure Dr. Robbins is in liquid memory storage on floor 3BF. Hold on, Dad. I'm on my way. I'll keep an eye on things here. Good luck. Down we go. A shortcut over here. Yep, there's an elevator. No good. That's huh? the surface. Never mind, I gotta run back this way anyway. So maybe you would have a chance to go back to some of the optional rooms here. I haven't mentioned this out loud yet, so I will do so now. I am enjoying the music for the lab. Are you all right? You aren't hurt? I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine, but Sophia got the jump on me. Now I'm handcuffed. I'll get those handcuffs off you. 
I did get a head start at doing that. And then I got sidetracked by, you know, actually planning my panel. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. why the stick spinning controls aren't working either, but I'm positive that I am inputting them the way they want me to. What? I held the button you wanted me to. What? Oh my god. Come on. It just stopped. It was working and then it stopped. Actually, the game told me that once they introduced the time limit on the lock that you can just fail five times with the time limit and then They're they'll off. get rid of the time limit. <laughs> thanks, Ashley, but uh, how did you do that? It's all thanks to the Ras. I had no idea the Ras could do things like that. So the Ras is loaded up with features, huh? Why did Sayoko program them in? What, did you expect her to just make a bracelet that didn't do anything? Dad, I remembered something. I came to this room with Mom 13 years ago. What? She was arguing with Judd here. I'm pretty sure she was talking about the another. What did you say? Sayoko was called here by Judd that day? Liquid memory is a storage medium for another. Maybe Judd wanted to revive the another project. So he called Sayoko for help? Dad, I'm glad you're all right. And I'm glad you're all right. I heard you were looking for me, so I came to the lab to find you. But Sophia caught me, I escaped, then I met up with Gina. It's... it's been a lot. I'm kind of exhausted, to be honest. Someone said I was looking for you. Who? Ryan. Ryan? It's weird, though. Gina said she doesn't know any Ryan. Did you meet this person? Yeah, earlier today. He's helping Sophia. What? Huh? Do you remember on Blood Edward Island? Bill sent another source code to someone before he died. Right. That data was sent here to JC Valley. What? Once I realized this, I decided to take a job here. I've been trying to figure out who Bill was working with. What did you find? Just a lead. Bill was talking to someone named Ryan. Really? It has to be a different Ryan, right? I suppose it could be. He seems really nice. He knew about Mom. Ryan knew Sayoko? What is he after? If the Another is still somewhere at JC Valley... Dad? What's the matter? See, I'm most confused by this development because we had that flashback that really made it seem like Ryan was dead. So, is Sophia working with Ryan's ghost? Did she see them? There's something I want to show you. What is it? It's in my lab. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh, we have Bill in here. Hi, Bill. 
On time now, see. The man who stole my mother's life 13 years ago. Bill fell off a cliff on Blood Edward Island and died. But he had already sent the another data that Dad finished to JC Valley. Dad figured out the person Bill was working with was Ryan. I can't believe it. Ryan's been so nice to me. I don't want to believe it. Time to run all the way back, I suppose. Hopefully Sophia doesn't break out of any rooms in between. Um. Oh, we're going to Dad's office. That's the room we locked her in. They've got to be around here somewhere. Finally, here they are. What's that? When you're, when you're looking for someone, you just need your daughter to click A on you. Plans for a prototype Another. I found them here. Early versions of the Another were made here? That's right. Your mother was working here at JC Valley when I joined. She was on a top secret project with Judd. They were making a prototype version of Another. But there was a serious flaw. So it was shelved 15 years ago. I had no idea. It was the first time she'd failed as a researcher. After that, she reformulated her theory on another. And that became the research paper you two co-wrote? That's right. Do you recall seeing this sort of device here 13 years ago? I guess I'm about to. Wait here, Ashley, okay? Mom. I did. I saw this another. So it's true. Sayoko came here 13 years ago because Judd called her in. This prototype was here, even though it should have been scrapped. What did Judd call Sayoko in for that day? Where was the prototype another being kept? I don't understand, Sayoko. Dad. You think you're so safe with me locked in here? Naive. Hmm? Ugh, not good. What's wrong? Someone's accessing top secret data. It must be Sophia. I gotta stop the data leak. I won't let her get away with this. <sighs> Clickety clack, typey type. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh, I pressed the key faster. No, I've been thwarted by faster yeah. typing. Now we wait. Amazing, Dad. All that's left is to copy the data to this disk and delete it from the PC. That's it. The data Sophia's after is safe on this disk. I'm glad we can keep it safe. Me too. It's the source code for the another. So that's the data Bill sent? I'll keep the disk on me, and I'll uncover the truth behind the another hidden in JC Valley. Right. All right. Let's meet up with Ian and Gina. Where are they? They should be waiting in the security office.
Dr. Robbins and Ashley are heading for the exit. He copied the data onto a disk and is carrying it in his pocket. I'm almost wondering if I'm decently close to the end of things here now that we have established some connections to things like Brian. Uh, we had our talk with Elizabeth last time. Matthew's off seeing his dad. We've explored this entire lab. All right, we're supposed to go to the security office. That's in here. Uh, also, we got the ninth paper crane. I'm not saying all the paper cranes because of the two that I swear I should have had, but didn't. Because they... I don't know. I, I swear, they, they were supposed to be in certain places, and I looked around those places, and I didn't see I'm it. back. <sighs> Ashley. Dr. Robbins. I'm so glad you're both safe. Are you okay, Gina? I'm fine. I've been here with Ian. He told me you went to rescue your dad. You know, the only difference between Gina and Ian is G and the Order of Ian. Dr. Robbins, thank goodness. Nicely done, Ashley. Thank you, Gina. Ian, thank you for helping Ashley. Where's Sophia now? She should be in room 203. She's not there. What? She's gone. Seriously, she's nowhere to be found. What? What do we do, Dad? We stay calm. This will all work out as long as we work together. He's right. Yes. Well, how we our can friendship do this. will defeat the armed person. <laughs> So, then, what's our strategy? Go out and be friends. You two stay hidden here. Keep safe. What happened to being together? Ashley and I will head out. We'll keep clear of Sophia. We'll take the elevator to the surface and call for help. Understood. Jean and I will hunker down here. Good luck, Ian. If it's so safe to go to the surface, why don't they go to the surface? Why would you tell You're them up to for stay? This, right, Ashley? Of course. After all, you're lost without me. Am I ever? I kind of surprised myself saying that. This whole thing is so weird. But maybe Dad and I really do work well together. Let's get going. Right. We'll see you soon. do another save now when i started this stream that went for like two minutes and then got to the end of chapter six which means that you know i was like two minutes away from finishing the chapter last time i'm gonna try and avoid that Don't happening move. this time oh they're bad at listening <laughs> I haven't advanced the dialogue. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> I assume them putting their hands up and turning around will make more sense when I hit the A button. <laughs> Are they going to do anything else? <laughs> Honestly, you two are more trouble than you're worth. 
I should just shoot the two of you and be done with it. Okay, so do it. You won't. But I was told to bring you in unharmed. I was right. You won't. Told by who? Who are you working for? There's the day's most predictable question. How's this? You'll find out. <sighs> Stay put. Try it again, and you'll have to be dragged out of here. Now give it to me. Give what to you? Let's not do this. I know what you have, Doctor. A hideous rash? Hand over the source code. How did you... We saw through everything. And frankly, you saved me a lot of trouble. It's terrible when the villains have x-ray vision. Ashley, the disc in your father's pocket. Give it to me. What? Do as she says, Ashley. Wait a minute. There was a demo CD in our backpack, and we took back all our stuff. Do you think we can do a little switcheroo here? Well, that was predictable. <laughs> I finally have it. <laughs> she didn't close her eyes. I don't know how that plan was going to work. Is it really that valuable? I guess you're not one of those smart kids, huh? Although it's just unfortunate that it has the words Ashley's demo written on it because she's going to figure things out very well. There are people who would pay anything for this disc. So you're just in this for money? You got a job here. You lied to everyone. And even got engaged to Elizabeth's dad? <laughs> the amount of money that we're talking about? I'd do anything. Elizabeth could tell who you really are. That selfish brat. You're joking. Enough of this. Hand over the disc. Come here. Yeah, tell me about it. Smart. Mm -hmm. The only question is, is she going to bother looking? Yep. Mm -hmm. What is this? Ashley, run! Get to the elevator! Ugh. Ashley, the elevator button will totally make it come faster. Hold on, Dad! I'll get help! Go! How about call for Ian and Gina, because one of them could pick up the gun while you're holding down Sophia. Then get it out of the way. Come on. Maybe the other Come one on, could also help you up. hold her down. Am I there? I know, there was a variety huh? of good options. Oh no. Is it busted? Why? Oh, what now? Ashley. Ashley. That voice. What do you want, traitor? Basement 0 0.5. I'm waiting for you. Excuse me. Of course, the answer was on the 0 0.5th floor. <laughs> A true scientist would analyze the situation and see you don't stand a chance. Uh, Sophia. It doesn't matter what you do. You won't escape. Ashley's already made it out, calling the police. 
Don't worry, Doctor. I can get the data later. The Another's already powering up. Ashley is what he's after. What? I really must hurry after her. I don't want to miss my chance. Farewell, Dr. Robbins. Sophia, how could you? Well, I mean, the procedure is pretty simple. A lot of typing on keyboards, uh, shooting at people. Thanks. Thank you, Richard. You did well to keep the data safe. I'll leave Sophia to you, Ian. On it. Rex, someone was helping Sophia. What? Someone named Ryan. He's the one who told Ashley to come here. Did you say Ryan? Sophia said he's going after Ashley. He's going to use the prototype another. He'll get all the data. That can't be. I think I know what Sophia is after. You know what's going on? If you do, just tell me already. Why did Sayoka bring Ashley here 13 years ago? Why did she meet with Judd? The truth lies in the pendant Ashley wears. End of chapter. Nope. <laughs> Mom was in the machine. That's all we're gonna get. You've remembered, haven't you? That day with your mother. Ryan. I've been waiting, Ashley. For you and the Das. You can't trick me anymore. You're working with Sophia, and you were working with Bill, too! Working with them? No. You're mistaken. I needed them only briefly to fulfill my goals. They were mere tools, easily manipulated. That's a terrible way to treat people. What are you thinking? What do you hope to accomplish by calling me here? Don't just stand there. Answer me! Please try to relax. Heightened emotions will cause your brain undue stress. And your feelings are not necessary in order to use the another. You're not making any sense. That just won't do, Ashley. Look into my eyes. Uh. Why are you going along with anything that he says? Allow me to introduce you. And why did that work? to Sayoko. Look at my face. Now you're unconscious. That's the end of chapter. Okay.
So that's where I'm going to be ending off for now. Uh, I spent a bunch of today working on the Labo panel, namely the Name That Tune questions that are going to show up, and I posted those. Uh, I got all six of them done. I was on a roll. <laughs> Uh, they came out interestingly. I mean, it's not the most high-quality stuff, but I think I did a decent job, <laughs> given the hardboard tools I was working with. And I'm going to be sharing the other questions pretty soon, just to give a little look at it, possibly get some input. And... <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking that because we got the last paper crane in this area... And, you know, a lot of threads are closing on the story. I do think that the next time that I play another code, it will be the finale. I can't say that for sure, because maybe they'll drag things out. But it seems possible that we will be finishing this the next time. Uh, as for tomorrow, though, I'm not doing a stream on this channel because tomorrow I'm going to be on my friend's channel for their podcast. That's on the Shellshock Prime channel, Sharing with Shellshock. I'm scheduled for two episodes of Sharing with Shellshock, and this will be the first of the two. And we're going to talk about uh, thoughts around video game compilations and collections. Stuff like, uh, you know, when, when they release multiple games as a set together. With, like, another Code Recollection, the game I just... Finished streaming for today. <laughs> it's a collection of two games. Uh, it was re-released and, like, enhanced and stuff. Uh, and there's been a bunch of those over the many, many years of video games. So, that's the focus of discussion. You can check that out over there, either live or with the VOD after the fact. I know they'll post it when they get around to it. So, that'll be the, sun that'll be the Sunday stream. Otherwise, I would just try and finish this game tomorrow. <laughs> But we'll, we'll finish it within the week. Probably. If it wants to end. At long last. <laughs> Thank you, and have a good night.